Angles are measured based on how open or closed they are. For instance, this angle is not very open, and its measurement happens to be 20 degrees. And this angle is more open, and its measurement is 30 degrees. And angle measurements are in the form of degrees, which is represented by this little circle symbol you see here. There are two very important angles to learn as references, a 90 degree angle and a 45 degree angle. The 90 degree angle, which is shown here, is called a right angle. And it is typically marked with a little box, as you see here, an angle AOD. And the two lines that intersect to form a 90 degree angle are said to be perpendicular. When first learning angle measurements, it can help to start with a circle. We reference an angle here at zero degrees, and an entire circle is 360 degrees. 90 degrees is here, and 45 degrees is here. A straight line across a circle has a measurement of 180 degrees, and 270 degrees is here, and 90 degrees plus 45 degrees equals 135 degrees, and that goes here. And other multiples of 45 degrees are 225 degrees and 315 degrees, which are here. Other important reference angles are in increments of 30 degrees. So 30 degrees and 60 degrees are here, and 90 degrees is already drawn in. Here are the rest of the 30 degree increments around the circle. We will often use this circle with these degree markings to calculate the measurement of angles. As an example, here is an angle, and let's say that we need to calculate the measurement of this angle. We can use this circle as a reference to find that measurement. We take the angle and overlay it on the circle by putting one of the sides of the angle aligned with zero degrees. And we see it has a measurement of 135 degrees. Using the same 135 degree angle, if we want to know the angle the long way around, so to speak, we know that this angle cuts off the circle at 135 degrees. And the whole way around the circle is 360 degrees. So we would subtract 135 degrees from 360 degrees, which equals 225 degrees. So this angle, the long way around, is 225 degrees. And angles that are greater than 180 degrees are called reflex angles. Now let's say that we want to measure this angle on the paper here. To do this, we use a protractor that you see here. We line up the vertex of the angle with this hole and line up one of the sides of the angle with the baseline here on the protractor. Then we check where the other side of the angle lines up with the tick marks. And you can see that it lines up with 70 degrees. So this is a 70 degree angle. I have a separate video that goes more in detail of how to measure angles with a protractor that I'll link at the end of this video. And that is the basics on how we measure angles. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.